What a privilege to be able to gather in church this morning. What a privilege to be alive. What a privilege to be well. What a privilege to be thus blessed of the Most High God. Please let's rise to our feet. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we, your children, have come unto you. We come unto you because we know that you are God. And you are the rewarder of them that diligently seek you. We've come to seek your face, O oh Lord. We've come, O oh Lord, to gather in your presence, knowing that we can never return the same. Father, we worship you this morning. We've come to give you praise because you are worthy. We've come to give you honor because honor is due to you. We've come to exalt your name, the name that is the strong tower into which we, your children, run and we are saved. We've come to glorify you. We've come to magnify you. We've come to declare, Father, Lord, that you are God and there is none like you. We've come to give you thanks. This morning, Lord, deliberately and intentionally, we enter into your gates with thanksgiving. We thank you, Father Lord. We thank you, Father Lord, from the bottom of our hearts. We know, Jehovah, that if not for you, we would not be here. And so, Father, we've come to say thank you that we can be here this morning. Thank you, Father Lord, that we can come before your throne of grace crying, Abba, Father, our Father, our God, our very present help, our glory and the lifter of our heads, our shepherd, our savior, our redeemer, our provider, provider, our soon coming king. We've come to honor you. We've come to glorify you. We've come to gather unto you, Father Lord, and to thank you, Father Lord, for your precious promises. We've come to thank you, especially, Father Lord, this first Sunday of the month of March. Only you, Father Lord, have preserved us. Only you have kept us and protected us. We've come, O oh Lord, to say thank you. Thank you, Father Lord, for seeing us safely through the month of January, the month month of February and now into the month of March. Father, we give you praise. We are awesomely, Father, Lord, grateful unto you. Father, thank you. We do not take it for granted, Lord. Thank you for your mercy. You promised us that your goodness and your mercy would follow us all the days of our lives. Thank you, Father Lord, for the goodness and the mercy that we enjoyed through January, through February, and even the first week of the month of March. Father Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Father Lord. Indeed, it is by your mercy that we are not consumed. Thank you, Father Lord, for your compassions that, they, that fail not, but are new to us, new to us every morning, day by day. We thank you, Father Lord. Indeed, your steadfast love never ceases. Thank you, Lord, that your love towards us never ceases. Dimensions of your love, you keep showing us. You keep showing us. You keep showing us. Sides of your love that we never knew before, you keep showing us. It can never get old. Father, Lord, you keep showing us newness, newness of your favor, newness of your steadfast love. Father, we thank you. Thank you indeed that your mercy endures. Your mercy speaks into our lives every day, every morning. Brand new mercy as the sun is rising. Brand new mercy till the sun starts to set. Brand new mercy. Father, Lord, we just want to say thank you. If we had a thousand tongues, they would not suffice to give you praise. The God who protects us. The God who is our shield and our refuge. The God who defends us against every adversary. We thank you, Lord. And our Lord and our King, as we have come unto you today, gathering in your presence, in this tabernacle, and even amongst brethren worldwide, gathering unto you the Most High God. We ask, Lord, that the light of your countenance will shine upon us. That you will be gracious unto us. That your ears, O oh Lord, will be open to the cry of your church. To the cry of our families. To the cry of each one of us as individuals. To the cry, O oh Lord, of your children concerning our nation. Let your ears be open unto our cry, O oh Lord. 
Father, Lord, as your eyes behold us in this sanctuary this morning, we thank you, Lord, that you are the God of glory. You have promised to reveal your glory. You have promised that this glory is ever increasing. As your eyes behold us in this sanctuary this morning, reveal your glory, dimensions of your glory that we never even knew. Reveal to us, O oh Lord, sides, O oh Lord, of your mercy, of your steadfast love, of your power, of your mighty deliverance, of your salvation, of your healing, of your loving kindness, of your mercy that we never even knew existed. Reveal to us your children this morning. Have mercy upon us, O oh Lord. We want to especially lift before your throne of grace your son, our senior pastor, Pastor Taiwo Dukoya. We want to specially thank you, Lord, that you called him, that you chose him, that you established him as the under shepherd over this house, the Fountain of Life Church. We want to thank you because, Father Lord, you are his God. You are his strength. You are his mighty deliverer. You are his comforter. You are the one who has spoken your word over his life, making him complete in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that your words that you have spoken, your words of power, they are relentless in your power. They are words, Father, Lord, precious promises that you watch over day by day, situation by situation, to perform them in his life to the glory of your holy name. Thank you, Father Lord, for being the mighty one on the inside of him. Your word says that greater are you who are in Pastor Taiwo than he that is in the world. Father Lord, we thank you that you've chosen, Father Lord, to guard your son as the apple of the eye. Thank you, eternal rock of ages, that you have him engraved in the palm of your hand. Thank you, Father Lord, that your word says, and we believe it, that you will contend with any that contends with him. Father Lord, we thank you, precious Holy Spirit, that you fill him to all fullness and you strengthen him with might. In the inner man, that Christ dwells in his heart. That the mighty God indwells him. And so we know that you will refresh him. That you will fight for him. That you will help him. And Father Lord, we commit everyone ministering, oh Lord, in this house unto you. Under the anointing, O Lord, of your Son, we ask, Father, Lord, for your blessings to abound toward everyone in the name of Jesus. Everyone at their duty posts this morning. Jehovah, you see everyone, Jehovah. That everyone, Jehovah, you will reward, Father, Lord, for their diligence. That you will reward them, Father, Lord, for their service unto you. That abundant indeed shall be their reward. None of them will stumble. None of them will fall. None of them will fail. Jehovah, but you will lift them, Father Lord. Promotion comes only from you. Jehovah, that you will promote them. Father Lord, that you will continue to strengthen them with your own might. That's our prayer for each and every worker, each and every office staff, each and every one, Father Lord, praying, interceding, Father Lord, for the expansion of your kingdom. Do that, Lord, which only you can do. And our Lord and our King, in this service, Father Lord, glorify Jesus. Be enthroned, O oh Lord, on the praises of your people. As our praises come up to you, Jehovah, let them be pleasing and acceptable in your sight. And let your blessings come down to us. Mighty deliverer, send forth your mighty deliverance, O oh Lord. Mighty avenger. Avenge your children, O oh Lord. A very present help. Help your children, Lord. Generous provider. Provide for your children, O oh Lord. Meet every need, Father Lord, the way that only you can. Heal the sick, O oh Lord. Save the lost, O oh Lord. 
Deliver the oppressed, O oh Lord. Exceed every expectation, O oh Lord. Every home, Jehovah, looking unto you to be filled with the joyful noise of children. Hear and answer, Father Lord. Everyone looking unto you, Jehovah, for a breakthrough to go forward. Cause them to move forward, Father Lord, with great speed. Father, we give you praise. We worship and we adore you. In the matchless name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Our God is greater.
we dwell in the secret place of the Most High. We shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We will say of the Lord, He is our refuge and our fortress. Our God in Him shall we trust. Surely He will deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from every perilous pestilence. He will cover us with His feathers and under His wings shall we take refuge. His truth shall be our shield and our buckler. We shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at our side, ten thousand at our right hand, but it shall not come near us. Only with our eyes shall we look and see the reward of the wicked. Because we have made the Lord our refuge, even the Most High, our dwelling place, no evil shall befall us, nor shall any plague come near our dwelling place. For he will give his angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways. In their hands they shall bear us up, lest we dash our foot against a stone. We shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, upon the young lion and the serpent shall we trample under our feet. Because we have set our love upon him, therefore he will deliver us. He will set us up on high because we have known his name. We will call upon him and he will answer us. He will be with us in trouble. He will deliver us and honor us. With long life will he satisfy us and show us his salvation. today. Give the Lord a shout! It's the first Sunday of this uh, month and uh, we want to give all the glory to the Lamb who sits on the throne. Yes, sir. Revelations 1.8 says the Master declares I am A and the Z. That means he's also God in the middle as well. Yeah. He's the Alpha. He said I am God who was and is and is to arrive. And yeah. I'm a sovereign, strong God. Yeah. Let's give him all the glory. Because all the glory is due him. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Lamb. Glory. Glory to the Lamb. Everybody sing. Glory, glory to the Lamb. We sing glory, glory, glory to the Lamb. We give all the glory to the Lamb. We sing glory, glory, glory to the Lamb. That's why we say, oh, yeah. oh, and away the go forever, forever, forever,
Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. I think we should give it the choir a big round of applause. I'm sure we can do better than that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Grace to you, choir. And the band too, and the band too. Let's give them a big round of applause. You know, I was so caught up in that rendition that I almost forgot it was time to come and pray. You know, and um, one of the things that usually will run through my mind when I listen to hymns, like the one they just sang, it's the depth of devotion where, where those hymns came from and how that my generation has not been able to write anything equal to that. Those hymns have been translated to every language in the world. And how that is a reflection of the commitment of the early church fathers who were ready to die for this gospel. And today we relish in the words of those songs. And as you listen to them, you know, it wells up life in you. I'm not supposed to say that. I'm just supposed to be leading the, the, the prayers. Amen. It's time for us to pray. And I have a burning desire in my heart this morning. I'd like you to turn to Genesis chapter 1. And I'll read the first three verses. Genesis 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void. And darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light. I'd like you to go to John chapter 1. John chapter 1, and I'll take the first five verses. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. And all things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. In him was life, 
And the life was the light of men. And the light shines in darkness. And the darkness did not comprehend it. I take verse 5 again for emphasis. And the light shines in darkness. And the darkness did not comprehend it. King James says darkness could not. Not that the darkness did not attempt to. But darkness could not. This morning, my interest and my emphasis is on that personification or that spirit that is called darkness. You know, sometimes we think that darkness is the opposite of light. But that is not true. The speed of light is measurable. The intensity of light is measurable. How do you measure the speed of darkness? How do you measure the intensity of darkness? Darkness is simply the absence of light. And you know, nature abhors vacuum. And so once light is absent, automatically darkness rules. It is a demonstration of abysmal ignorance to think that darkness is a metaphorical personification of evil. It is not. Or to think that darkness is a delusion of an unsound mind. It is not. Darkness is evil. Darkness is a person. In the account in Genesis chapter 1 from verses 1 to 3, no account was given to us about the creation of darkness. The only pronouncement that the emperor of heaven made in verse 3 is that he said, let there be light. And it's interesting to also note, and this is a question that has bothered my mind. Why would God introduce the first enemy that we will have to deal with all our lives to us in the first chapter, if not the first verse of this volume of revelation called the Bible? Darkness. Darkness. But the verdict of God in John chapter 1 verse 5 is that darkness would never be able to overcome light. It's not possible. Darkness will try, but it will never be able to overcome light. This morning, my heart goes first to our youths. You know, early the hours of this morning, I was meditating on 2 Timothy 3.1, where Timothy says that in the last days, perilous times will come. I use the Spirit-filled Bible and the commentary of Jack Hayford says that we will have a society devoid of virtue. A society devoid of virtues but filled with vices. Look no further. This morning, I want us to first of all pray for our youths. I said in the first service, I opened my, 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 my phone early hours of this morning and I saw that Putin has conscripted 1,000 mercenaries into the Russian forces. And these people age from like 10, 12, both male and female. And they've all been given AK-47 to defend the city. Darkness. Darkness. In the final analysis... All of those buildings can be replaced if the money is there. They have petrol dollar. But guess what? The real loss will be the life. Why? They are irreplaceable. Once life is lost, and that is the agenda of the evil one. That's all he wants. In all of this, he's not interested in the buildings coming down. He knows that it can be replaced. But his interest are the lives as many as he can conscript to hell. I'd like us to rise up this morning and let's pray for our children. Let's pray for our youths. I'd like you to pray against darkness. Darkness is a spirit. We come against that spirit of darkness in the name of Jesus. Satan, the Lord rebuke you this morning. You will not prosper in the life of our youths. We lift up the city of Ukraine. We ask for the mercy of God. We pray for those youths in the name of Jesus. In the front line, Jehovah God. 
have mercy, my God. Have mercy, my God. We ask that darkness will lift up over those city in the name of Jesus. We cause you darkness. We cause you darkness. We rebuke the spirit of darkness. I'd like you to pray for our youths. I'd like you to pray for our, to our children. In the name of Jesus, everything that suggests, everything that portends darkness, we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. The Lord rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Raka sokakea. I like you to be angry in the fountain of life church we come against darkness in the name of Jesus darkness cannot comprehend darkness cannot prevail darkness cannot subdue in the name of Jesus I want you to cause be angry this morning the effectual the fervent prayer of the righteous man avails what in the name of Jesus over every family represented here over the life of our senior pastor we cause darkness we cause darkness we cause darkness we cause darkness father we thank you we bless you father God and we exalt you I like you to speak life speak life into this church into the love of our youth into your family speak life speak life we speak the life of God that is the only merchandise that the church has it is the life of God into our children we speak life into our homes we speak life into the love of our we speak life into Nigeria we speak life we speak life over this nation. We speak life. I want you to speak life. Oh, Thank you, Father. We bless you, Father God. In Jesus' matchless name, we are praying. Thank you. This morning on Fountain News, collection of items for the less privileged holds today. Abraham and Sarah Fellowship meets this Friday. Good morning, welcome to this episode of Fountain News. I am okay, Bonye Kuluja. Collection of items for the less privileged by the Hope Center holds today. Drop off is at the Fountain Gardens, that is the main car park, after the first service. Please ensure the items you want to drop off are in very good condition. Clothing items should be washed, ironed, and neatly packed. If you did not get the opportunity to donate today, not to worry. You can do so at the next collection date, which is the first Sunday in April. That is the 3rd of April 2022. Please note that damaged or worn-out items will not be accepted. Also, the Hope Center is calling on all church members to please continue to support the department by donating food items such as rice, beans, spaghetti, gari, vegetable oil, and other food items for the Lord's Kitchen. Your generous support has indeed helped in reaching out to families in dire need. May the good Lord bless you as you continue to be his arm stretched forth to a needy world. The first Believer's Class Crash Program for the year 2022 started yesterday and continues this Saturday at 10 a.m. If you're interested in officially becoming a member of this great church or would like to join a department, this is an opportunity you cannot afford to miss. Please come early. Abraham and Sarah Fellowship, that is the senior citizens of this church, will be meeting this Friday at 3 p.m. The venue is the church premises. If you're 55 years old and above, this is one meeting you cannot afford to miss as members of the fellowship look forward to specially welcoming you. Now don't forget to join the Fountain Sports Club at her aerobic session this Saturday at 6.30 a.m. The venue is the Fountain Gardens in Lupeju. Health, they say, is wealth. So it is important to always keep fit, okay? Come along with your family and friends and have a great time. Now, this is calling on all eligible voters aged 18 years and above. If you're yet to get a permanent voter's card, 
or if you have one that was defaced or lost and requires a replacement, please visit www.cvr.inecnigeria.org forward slash public forward slash get started. The continuous voter registration is easier and can be done from the comfort of your home. The exercise will run till the 18th of this month. Please take advantage of the services offered by INEC through this portal. Remember, it is your civic responsibility to vote. Okay? The Children's Church holds both on-site and online today. Please note that the online classes start at 7.30 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. Children joining the online classes should do so using the TFOLC link tree address. Home Fellowship holds this evening at 6 o'clock. Please note that there are several Home Fellowship centers that still meet only online. And to join them, please check the Fountain of Life link tree on Instagram for details. Bible study continues online this Tuesday at 6 p.m. While prayer meeting follows at 6.45 p.m. Shower service holds on-site and online this Thursday at 9 a.m. The daily webinar prayers hold Monday to Friday from 11.30 p.m. to 12.15 a.m. Now, if your birthday or wedding anniversary was last week, or if it is today, you know what to do. Please rise up for recognition. Hallelujah. Good morning, Fountain of Life Church. We celebrate you as um, birthday celebrants, wedding anniversary celebrants. Those of you around them, make them feel special. Give them a fist bump. Give them an extra special smile because God is concentrating grace on them today in Jesus' name. We want you to know that every birthday blessing you have received is backed with an amen in the name of Jesus. God is going to wow you. Believe me, God is going to wow you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. For those of us celebrating our wedding anniversaries, you may have come here today frowning at each other, refusing to take those selfies. By the time you're going home today, you will take the selfies and you will post them. Because the Lord is going to tickle you. The Lord is going to refresh you. The Lord is going to remind you of why you fell in love, you know, to start with. And then he's going to back it up with a promise in Jesus' mighty name. Please be seated. We celebrate you all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. If you're visiting with us for the very first time in the Fountain of Life Church, you are special. We'd like you to stand up on your feet for recognition. You're, you're, today, you're our guests of honor. You're visiting with us for the very first time. Welcome. It's even for you, we didn't get a generic song. We got you a very special song. You're welcome in Jesus' name. We'd like to encourage you, if you belong to a Bible-believing, word-based church, please go back and be a pillar of support to the man or woman or man and woman of God there. And the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. But if, however, when you came in, you felt like, hey, hey, this is home. This is what I've been looking for. Or the Holy Spirit has been ministering to your heart that this is the place he has made room for you. Please come and be a part of us and the Lord will strengthen you in Jesus' name. The ushers are going to give you a form. Please fill it out legibly. We're going to follow you up. Listen to me, Fountain of Life Church follow-up is, is different. It's sweet. By the time we close our follow-up, people are like, ah, already? I'm serious. So please write your name legibly. You want to be a part of this in Jesus' name. God bless us all in Jesus' name. You may please be seated. Welcome to the Fountain of Life Church. Hallelujah. The Lord has a word for us. Amen. A sure word of prophecy. I don't know if you've noticed, anytime I take the promises, I'm super excited. Because I'm always a first partaker. Amen. So you have to open your hearts and receive today. Today the promise is um, Psalm 75 verses 9 and 10. 
And we're going to read it from the Passion Translation, verse 9 and 10 of Psalm 75. Praise the Lord. It says, but I, but I, but Oida Mola, you can put your name, but I will proclaim the victory of the God of Jacob. My melodies of praise will make him known. My praises will break the powers of wickedness while the righteous will be promoted and become powerful. Hallelujah. But I, but Oyinda Mola, if you read the preceding verses in this chapter, the whole of Psalm 75, it's a mixture of good and bad, highs and lows, promotion, demotion, you know, judgment. I mean, it's a lot of things going on. And that's just like a picture of the world. That's like what Pastor Babatunde just told us about, light and darkness in constant, um, you know, conflict. But we know, but I, Oida Mala, know that light will prevail in the name of Jesus. Because I am a son of light. Hallelujah. I am a child of light. I'm expecting, I'm expecting to hear mumblings because you're saying this about yourself hallelujah so we will rejoice now let me share an open secret with you god has been tickling me with secrets lately you know and last week was it two weeks ago he told me that most of my secrets are open secrets they are there for everybody today you will gain understanding in jesus name so he says i will proclaim i will proclaim i will not keep silent in the midst of everything that is going on, in the midst of what I hear, what I see, what I, you know, the news report, I will declare the victory of the God of Jacob. I read the news about Ukraine. I don't just read it and close it and say, hmm, this uh, Russia. Mm -mm. I declare, I declare. I don't just listen to Nigerian news. I declare, amen. We are a speaking people. We're speaking spirits. Hallelujah. So I will declare the victory of the God of Jacob. My melodies of praise will make him known. Even in the night season, we will sing. There's something about singing. There's some, you have to sing. Praise God. Listen to me. Spiritual things don't respond to how you feel. We have to begin to divorce ourselves from our emotions when it comes to spiritual, you know, growth. So it's not a question of I don't feel like singing or what's there to sing about. I will sing. It's your covenant task to sing even when things look awkward. Praise God. Now Psalm uh, verse 10 is my own trip. He says, my praises will break the power of wickedness while the righteous will be promoted and become powerful. That is an open secret. Write that down. That I came to church first Sunday in March and God shared an open secret with me. That is a secret that only the covenant children of God know. That there's power in your praise. Hallelujah. I want us to get up and receive this promise. The Father, no matter what comes my way this week, I will speak and I will sing and I will declare your praise. Three things. You will speak, you will sing, you will declare his praise in the name of Jesus. You will go home today. You will look at your bank account. You will look at the doctor's report. You will look at the situation situation in Nigeria. You will look at your children over Ukraine, over northern Nigeria. I mean, whatever it is, you will speak, you will sing, and you will declare the praise of God. Father, the strength to speak, the strength, the courage to sing, the boldness to declare your praise, Lord, I receive in the name of Jesus. I receive grace in the name of Jesus. And I know that God will promote me. God will break every band of wickedness in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You see, when God teaches you something, he sets a test immediately. This is an opportunity to sing, to praise, and to prophesy. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Yeah, yeah. You know, go, 